Okay, so as you'll be able to see in this first part, um, I had drawn the base of the eye with the ellipse tool. Um, I also have um, been, I was um, using a reference photo of an eye, um, just to give me an idea of the colours I will need to use um, and what an eye kind of looks like so you can get a bit of an idea. Um, so I just just there I just filled in the eye with the base colour of the eye. Um, I did change it to a lighter shade because you don't want to start it off um, too light and you don't want it to be too dark um, because you will be adding in lighter colours and darker colours to the eye. Um, and you also want the opacity when you're doing that to be on 100. Um, now you can see me doing another small circle in the middle of the eye and I thought the first one was too small um, for the pupil. Um, so then I made it a bit bigger but I wasn't happy with that one because it was too oval shaped. Um, you want it to be a round circle not an oval shape because that looks a bit strange. Um, and then fill it in with black. Now I'm just drawing some lines, um, some darker ones, some lighter ones, um, just to um, give it a bit of definition. Um, you want to smudge those lines with the smudge tool, not too much, um, don't overdo it, um, just a little bit. And you can also see on the outer edge of the eye that um, I've put like a bit of a rim. Um, so a very darker colour. Um, now I'm just putting in some lighter colours. Some lines on the eye. Um, I do end up using the Gaussian Blur tool. Um, just a little bit so it blows out the lines a bit more. Um, makes them all a bit um, sort of blended in a bit. Um, just there I had been uh, fiddling around with a blur tool um, and I wasn't happy with that one so I just stuck with the Gaussian blur tool instead. Um, these little uh, splodges uh, that I'm putting in, the dark ones, um, if you look at people's eyes I've normally got some little dots just random dots floating around on the iris um, so I just thought put that in give it a bit more reality to it um, you can see I've kind of highlighted around the pupil area with a bit of a light color um, just give it a bit more depth um, just putting in some smaller lines just to give it a bit more detail Um, I've darkened up the rim of the eye as well, um, just to give it a bit of depth to it again. And here you can see that I'm using a bit of a greeny colour, so you want to use a different colour um, just to put around that highlighted area and the darker area towards the rim of the eye, um, just to give it a bit of a um, bit more definition and depth to the eye, so it looks a bit more kind of not 3D, but uh, just more realistic. Um, you also want it to be a little bit darker around the pupil um, and keep that rim dark as well. Um, so I decided I wanted to do a heterochromia eye. So they're those kind of eyes where it's got a completely different colour, like a brown colour. Um, like I've done here, just a bit of a splash of it on the eye. Um, some people they, um, are born with heterochromia, but it's not very common. And you do want to be changing around the opacity um, when you're drawing lines and stuff, just to give it a bit more... Um, realism because if you have it on full opacity then it's going to be too harsh and you don't want that because you want it to be blendable. Um, so here I'm just drawing that white square is on a lower opacity um, because it's a reflection to give the eye realism. 
um, and I'm drawing another little kind of liney thing um, for reflection. And then I'll be drawing some little white kind of a low opacity lines around the eye as well. Now with doing a background, if you want to, I decided to because I had a lot of free space. Um, you don't want to make it too complicated and you don't want it to be too fancy. You just want it to be simple so your eye is not drawn away from the main subject, which in this case is the eye that I've drawn. Um, you don't want any harsh lines, nothing like that. You want everything to be pretty blended and pretty smooth um, because then it looks kind of a bit blurred um, like I've done here. Now I decided to put in these dots and you can see at the beginning they were way too many and they were way too bright. Um, so if you're going to do something like that you only want very minimal amount um, and you want them to be pretty low on the opacity side um, so they don't uh, look like they're being focused on and not the eye. So you want the eye to always be the main focus seeing as it's the main subject. Um, so make everything else look like it's part of the background, which it is. Um, here I decided to not put that white kind of uh, blob in the corner. I decided to um, change it into a lens flare, which comes with Photoshop. Um, just so then you understand why I've got the reflection on the eye. It gives it a bit more realism to it. Um, you can see that I've put in the eye has been covered with black. I did notice that um, around the very edge of the eye it had been a bit pixelated and a bit white and I didn't understand what was going on and then I realized that the background was showing a bit. So all I did was I selected the eye um, and then um, I just put some black underneath it so it wasn't so pixelated and looked a bit more smooth. Um, gave it a bit of a border um, to make it a bit darker so it's not as harsh and just put in my signature which you want to do so um, people can't uh, claim that work as theirs um, and it shows that it's yours and there is a final product thank you for watching